Kid me to fall to lads and lassies, Irish sloppy dad here. Today we're going to be looking at a PlayStation 2 emulator called PCS X2. And it has to be one of the best emulators for playing all your old PlayStation 2 games that I've come across on the internet. So, without further ado, we're going to roll the intro and let's get started. So guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to this website. You'll find the link in the description below to be the very first one with number one written beside it. And once you land on this website, you're going to head to this section here and you're going to download the emulator for the operating system that you're using. So I'm using Windows. So I'm going to click Windows. And I am going to download the standalone installer for 1.4.0. Don't download this one here because it's missing a lot of files that you might need to run it if it's your very first time running it. So just head on over here, hit download and save the file. So once that's finished downloading, you want to go and find where you have downloaded the file. Usually it'll be in your download folder or if you're using Firefox like I am, you'll just find it up here by clicking this little arrow. Open it up by double clicking it and it's going to ask you for administration controls. You just say yes. And you, you're, this is the screen that you're going to see here. So you're going to want to have all these boxes ticked here. Because it's going to download and install the Visual++. Plus Plus and the DirectX as well. So you're going to want all that. Just in case your PC hasn't got it. So you're going to hit next. And I like to install mine on the C, on the C drive. So some people like to put it on their, their backup drives. But I like to have it on the main drive. So I'm just going to hit install. And once it's complete I'm going to hit close. So now that we've got that installed, we're going to head back over to Firefox and we're going to go to the second link that I put in the description of this video and it's going to bring you to this mega upload website. And here you're going to download these files here. They're PCX2 file fixes and they're 7-zip. So what you're going to want to do here is download them. So simply just hit download and just wait for that to download. It should only take a couple of seconds. And once you have them downloaded, they're either going to go to your downloads folder or if you're like me and you're using WinZip, it's going to open up automatically here and ask me would I like to open them. So I'm going to say OK to open them, but if you're looking for yours, just head on over to your downloads folder and double click on the files and open it with either WinZip or WinRAR, whatever you're using. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to drag these folder. Only one folder, yeah. I'm going to drag this folder over to my desktop, like so and we should be good to go we should have everything in there now that we need we've got the emulator installed and we've got the fixed files ready to be installed into the emulator so the next thing we're going to do guys is we're going to have to go to where this is installed so in my case it's going to be on the c drive so i'm going to go c drive and it's in program files x86 if you're on windows 10 and probably windows 8 as well and it should be down here somewhere there it is so when you go in here, you're going to see a folder called BIOS. Um, you mightn't have that BIOS because I already had that installed. But what you want to do is open up this folder, the folder with the fixed files in it. And you want to drag the BIOS over. And when it asks you to replace all the files, you just say, yeah, replace all files. And that should be it. That should be us good to go now. So we're going to open up the PlayStation 2 emulator. So we're going to double click. And again, it's going to ask you for permission. You just say yes. And this is what we're going to see, guys, for the very first time loading it up. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the language. So we're going to see, I think it's it all, I think this automatically sets to English. But just in case, let's just click English. Be on the safe side. Hit apply. And hit next. And then it's going to ask us, existing settings have been found. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say import and these are the settings that I use guys so if you go up to the top one here just show you now these are all the settings that I use to get mine working all good so this is this is what you're going to use this is your control pad here so if you go in here you can configure the control pad by using like pad one and just by using your I've been using the Xbox 360 control pad and it works fine but you just click on these I won't bother clicking on the mine because I've already got them all set up 
but it's it's a wee bit slow and a tedious but if you're used to using emulators you'll know how to set this up so we're going to say okay show you what i have here so that if you're following along you can copy all these here just change all your settings to these and you should be fine i think this one here is the that's what's that there now okay that's not what i was looking for okay this one here okay the very top one is for your graphics guys so this is my graphics settings that i have mine working on at the minute i'm using an amd radian r9 200 series not the best graphics card in the world by any standards but it does the job and so then here i've got the resolution set to six native and i've got 4x here for anti static filtering texture filtering and Oh yes, down here I've got the CRC hack level set to aggressive. I found on Windows 10 that was the best one to use because I got the best settings out of it. So if you guys are having any trouble whatsoever, I would I would probably change that to aggressive and that should fix up all your problems, I would say. So I'm going to hit OK. So I'm happy now with everything. You see all the settings I have here. Really, graphics is the only one you need to configure. So you want to configure the first one. And the second one is for your control pad and then we're going to hit next and it's going to ask you now to select bios so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to select japan and if you don't see japan you're going to have to go to browse uh like so and you're going to have to go to the folder so do you know the folder that you're after installing your emulator on so it's usually in your local drive the c local drive program files x86 and just go in there and then just show it this is the bios and hit select folder and you're going to want to select the Japan version from 2000. Don't get any of the up-to-date BIOS versions. I find that it, they're just not as compatible as this Japan version is. And this works with 99% of your games. So you're good to go with this one. Then we're going to hit finish. And that should be it, guys. That is you all set up. If you've just followed everything along and changed the settings where it needs to be, just adjust the graphics to your own liking and set up your control pad. Everything should be fine. Let's just make sure everything works. I'm going to go to ISO selector. Uh, I've already got God of War here. So I'm going to hit on that. And I'm going to boot the CD. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Let's see if God of War will load. I have full confidence in this. Oh, a little bit of a buggy buggy there. But we're getting speed, we're getting 100% speed. And there we go. We've got God of War working perfectly fine. Fix that screen out of it. So it's working perfectly fantastic. So guys, thanks very much for watching today's tutorial on how to set up your PlayStation 2 emulator. If you found this video helpful in any possible way, please give us a like and give us a comment there just to let us know that you really got use out of the video and if you want to see more please hit the subscribe button i've been irish sloppy dad thanks very much for watching and i will see all you guys and chat with you in the next video bye now Sega Genesis games of all time well in my opinion anyway